Okay, this is the 15th day on the eggs that were the next round that we're hatching here. Now, right now, what we're doing is candling them. So, we're going to shine a light through them and see if there's anything inside. Because you don't want a egg that's been sitting in there at 100 degrees for 15 days to bust. It'll have all kinds of bacteria on it and it might infect the good ones. <coughs> so, I'm going to turn the light off. Okay, candle that one. Yeah. Bring it over here by the thing. That's called candling. Uh, and you see that this one's like glowing. The light goes through it because there's nothing in it. Yeah. Okay, and then get one that's good. Doesn't help smell good either. Okay, there's. <laughs> hey, put it over here closer so I can see it. Okay. I know my hand's a little shaky from being drunk. Now that one you can't see through. It's kind of hard because the curtain's open. Put it over this way. Just put it in front of the camera. Oh. Because I'm trying to get. They can't see through that one, right? Nope. Okay, put it and try another one. Oh, that one's definitely good. Okay, put it up there. Now get another, get a bad one from over there, and then I'll, I'll end this, so you can see the difference. Okay, see inside there, now that one's glowing, there's nobody home. No use keeping her in there any longer. Now get another one. That one's good. Okay, no light going through that one. You're supposed to get about a 66% hatch rate. This includes these that were never fertile in the first place. So the quail, when they were at the, wherever they were at, weren't doing their job. And 66% of these are either not going to hatch or they're going to be infertile in the incubator. That one's good. So you turn these eggs four times a day, well this is an automatic turner, until it's three days before they hatch, which is what time it is. So we're candling them, putting them back in here so they won't turn. And in three days, we'll take another picture, and if we're lucky, there'll be food in there waiting to grow.